The school year racing to a close, just a day or two left at best for most districts. East Syracuse Manoa technically ends on Friday. Graduation is later that night. Joining us now, ESM Superintendent Dr. Donna Desiato. Donna, thanks for joining us live tonight. Appreciate it. Good evening. Great to see both of you. Um, so when you think back on this school year, uh, what stands out to you the most? Maybe one or two things. Well, certainly as we started the year, uh, seeing smiles because uh, we had been, as you recall, wearing masks up until the end of the uh, previous school year or close to it. And so seeing uh, smiles, uh, see, being in person for all of the various kinds of events and, and activities, um, that was really just paramount. Uh, I think things that we once took for granted, mm -hmm. we no longer take for granted. And so that was, uh, and then at the end of the year, um, our masterminds team took the state championship. So that certainly stands out uh, to take a state championship in any area is always really uh, quite the honor. And uh, we were we were really pleased with our team. Yeah, but big, I think being big. together again was really, uh, and seeing smiles was really, truly what was most memorable. Yeah, big congratulations to your team there. Also, we, if we take us back, you remember the kind of the rougher times that y'all had, behavioral issues, not just at ESM, but other districts mm -hmm. too. Metal detectors were installed, vape sensors. We really haven't heard much in a while. So do we take to mean that things have turned around? I, I wanna hope so. I think that uh, COVID brought on uh, so many different aspects of change. And one of the things that we also recognize that um, there was an increase certainly in both um, losing set a sense of boundaries, losing a sense of understanding expectations. There was also clearly increased mental health issues and social emotional um, learning issues. Um, we really committed ourselves to a reset this year. And in part of it, we also in, did install some other technologies that we're still studying. Uh, we piloted them this year. We're still studying them, but we do believe they're helping to make a more welcoming and safe environment. We also believe with the reset, what was most important was to really clearly communicate expectations, to practice any expectations, rules, um, and practice them until we understand that they're being um, done really seamlessly and done well throughout the school day. Um, and then to revisit practicing them again and the expectations after any holiday or, or recess break. Uh, that's worked for us. We've done that in every school. We've done it with school buses and transportation now as well. And I think that uh, we're making some real clear milestones by doing that. Donna, it seems like almost all, all things uh, these days lead to Micron in some way. How is ESM preparing for Micron, um, both with curriculum and in even the uh, increase in population expected? Sure. Uh, certainly in the areas of the development of STEM, as you both know, we were really uh, from 2010 forward working in so many different areas. Um, we, have, we now have um, various aspects in our both science, technology, engineering, um, and, and the engineering design process in each of our elementary schools. Um, we also have computer science for all sixth graders. We have cybersecurity and computer science at our high school. Um, we're also, are, we, we were fortunate, our, our, our middle school team that most people are well aware of, 8 Orange, designed a STEM uh, uh, manufacturing chip plant model oh. Um, actually, it will be on display. The most is going to be doing a, a, a display that's going to be highlighting the various technological elements of uh, Micron. Uh, so we really are very focused on being STEM ready um, and, and Micron ready. Um, we really want our students to be in those kinds of engaging uh, STEM activities um, and development. We also, um, for increased population, we continue to look at where we need to make space and room. Um, and I think that all school districts will be doing that in, in the near future right now. We're in good shape at every one of our elementary schools, our middle school and our high school. So uh, we, we, we've got room, but we, we also are mindful of the fact that there will be people continuing to move into our area. 
Right. It's so good to catch up with you, Dr. Desiato, and we wish you mm -hmm. and all the kids and parents and teachers a good end to the school year and a nice, fun, safe summer. We're looking forward to it. Thanks. Very much looking forward to it. Thanks, Donna. Be good. Thank we have you. more local.